The Tory leadership contest seems to get more vicious by the day. Yesterday, we saw Nadine Doris actually tweeting a picture of Rishi Sunak stabbing Boris Johnson in the back, which is a bit too much, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's only a leadership debate. But I've talked about Lord Crudders before, and he's taking his attacks on the party very seriously. As I said, he's threatening to not give them a half a million pound donation that they're going to require to fight the next general election. And half a million pounds, as you all know, is a hell of a lot of money, especially when you're campaigning all over the country. To top it off, Lord Crudders actually put a tweet out when he was talking about this leadership debate, and he said that if he called them a cabal, if the cabal that is the 1922 committee, which is the committee of backbenchers in the Conservative Party, don't get their way and don't get their candidate in Rishi Sunak, then they will change the rules to make sure that in the future the members no longer get a vote. This will then give them complete and utter autonomy over all of the party and they will hold all the strings, of course, because backbenchers, unless you have a very bad election, always outnumber the payroll staff, whether that be a shadow cabinet or even the government itself, meaning that they will take all powers away from anybody else and put it all around themselves to make sure they get their candidate. Rishi Sunak is the establishment candidate. Liz Truss was the second establishment candidate, in my opinion, but Liz Truss has managed to impress me slightly over the last week or so, and she's certainly come across a lot better. Rishi's campaign is going terribly. He's well behind in the polls, 20-odd points behind in the polls now. They may as well call the election as it is and just save us five weeks without a prime minister and get somebody in office to get things straight in this country before people start suffering even more. Forget procedure. Rishi should drop out. But he believes, of course, that the, these people are going to be so unhappy that their man isn't going to get power that the members will no longer get a say, meaning, again, that they can do whatever they like. So if you vote for a prime minister next time, say Liz Truss, for example, and they decide they don't like her anymore because she doesn't do something that they want, they can simply trample all over your democratic vote once again, like they have done with Boris Johnson, and oust Liz Truss, if that's who the next prime minister is going to be, which is looking very likely. Meaning, they control democracy. If I was a Tory member and this kind of thing came in, I'd be one of the first to send back my membership card, cancel my direct debit, and say that I no longer wish to be associated with the party. We'll see if this happens, but I wouldn't put it past them, and I think Lord Crudders has a point here, and he's obviously very unhappy about what's going on.